HitFilm Sensei here. Today in this video, I'm going to show how I did this spider catching effect. So the first thing about this effect is, is that it was a toy spider. Check this video out. So the spider is a toy spider, right? It's just a toy and it's attached with some fishing line, right? That I was then able to very quickly attach to my ear this way, you see? Making it look like it was hanging on my head there like that. All right, so... That toy spider I then took and I attached to the ceiling with a couple of tacks and then I took the entire um, video from a lockdown tripod point of view and this is the whole video, the whole one minute and 40 seconds. It starts with the spider attached to the ceiling. Then I grabbed a chair, I stood up on it and I took it off of the chair uh, and then I put it and I remembered where it was on the ceiling. That was going to be very important because I was going to pretend like I was catching it, right? So then I put the fishing line on it and I set it down out of the view of the camera. Now this shot was actually filmed in um, 4K, right, on my phone. So it was nice and big so that way I'd have room to create fake camera movement. So then I started... Uh, acting like I was looking at the spider, right? And I acted like I was talking to the person behind the camera. There was no person behind the camera. In fact, there wasn't anybody in the room. In fact, there wasn't anybody in the entire building, right? So then I put the bucket down and I put the spider on my ear. It took a long time, so I had to cut out part of this footage so that it didn't seem like I was wasting a lot of time. I moved the chair over and then I grabbed the bucket and then I acted like, oh, okay, here we go, right? I was acting kind of scared. And then I got up onto the chair itself, right? And then I acted as if I was going to catch that spider. Oh, perfect, right? Then uh, I acted like, oh, my gosh, I think the spider's in the bucket, right? And I got down, oh, very carefully. And then I very slowly tipped the bucket to reveal that the bucket is empty. And then I turn around like, what happened to it? And the spider is on my ear, on my face now, right? But it's actually hanging there with that. So that's basically the entire shot, right? So then I brought that whole thing into hit film. And the first thing I did was I grabbed... Okay, I grabbed a clean plate of the spider, right? And the whole thing looked like that. That was like the first frame of the entire shot. And then I used the rate stretch tool and I drug it out, right? So that I had that one shot. And then I put a mask around just that spider, right? And then I brought in the per first part of the video where I'm actually looking at it. I kind of drug it over. And then I acted out the scene. Now you can see, if I zoom out a little bit, you can see that what I am doing is here is I am creating a false movement here, right? I'm zooming in and out and stuff like that. How's that happening? Well, it's happening simply because I keyframed the scale and position, okay? But it sort of looks like a handheld shot. That's because I added a grade layer and on that gray layer, I added a shake, a very small shake, a 12 by 1 shake. And it goes through the entire shot. Okay, there's always this little shake going on, right? Then, as that's happening, right, I look at the thing and I point at it and stuff like that, okay? And then... I zoomed up so that way I could cut out that piece in the middle. And now I have a new spider on the ceiling 
here. And this one has two masks to it. And if I back out, you can see there's the mask there, but then there's a subtract mask up here as well. And you'll see what that's for, okay? So what I did was, and I'm gonna just adjust this a little bit, is that I then zoomed out. Oh, you go, how does the spider on the ceiling track with the part? It's simple. I parented that clean plate to the to the media that it was connected to. So that way, as I change the scale and as I moved the uh, transformed uh, you know, position and scale here, those all I added in after the fact. As those things changed, then the spider in the clean plate actually changed as well, okay? So then, back to the masks here, and you can see I'm gonna highlight both masks so you can see them. Okay, there they are. As I went to bring my bucket up here, right, then what happened was I then, and I'm going to zoom in here so you can see frame by frame what happened. I then keyframe my subtract mask, that's this one, to come in just as I was getting ready to cover the spider with the bucket. So that way, it would hide the spider behind the bucket. And then I removed the clean plate altogether. So now the clean plate's gone, but it seems as if, right, I have just captured the spider in the bucket, but I didn't. And then I played out the rest of the scene, right? Uh, and I ended up turning and looking, right, into the bucket. There's nothing in the bucket, right? And then... I turn around and there is the spider hanging on my head, right? And that's when I keyframed in a big old shake right here. And I literally went from zero, I used a constant keyframe to boom, 900, right? Ah! And I actually added in the extra voices. Those were my voices, the whisper, be careful. And the, ah, the scream, I screamed several times into my own microphone and picked the one that I liked the best. And that was it. That was the entire thing. Now, we had one problem that happened, and it's just it just kills me, but this is what happened, right? As I was getting ready to get up onto the bucket, right? And as I went in, and I didn't even realize this until after the fact, until after I had actually made the whole video and everything, that when I went to stand up, I turned my head just enough and the spider became visible on the side of my head for about 17 frames. And so I, after the fact, I had to go in and mask that out using a part of the wall as the, key, as the, as the clean plate behind it. It made me so mad. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, oh my gosh. But because I was the only one in the room, you know, you didn't know. Right, I didn't know until after the fact, and that's what happened. So basically, in a nutshell, that's how I did the spider crawling on me effect. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. If you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from HitFilm Sensei, consider liking the HitFilm Sensei Facebook page, following the HitFilm Sensei Twitter feed, and subscribing to the HitFilm Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday, and thanks for your support.